Hello everyone. Today I'll be doing something a little different than I've never done before. I will be doing a cooking video. Today we will I will cook some vegan protein alternatives of various origins and eat them. I am not vegan nor vegetarian and uh, yeah I've never had most of these and I'm gonna see if I can make them taste good if they are good. Um, yeah, so let's let's start off with the one that we all know. I bought this all day, just a couple of minutes ago. Um, tofu, uh, which is from Japan. Most people know about it. It's pretty popular, even with non-vegetarians or vegans. I mean, some people don't like it, but pretty much everyone knows about it. A lot of people have eaten it. Uh, so I got two kinds of tofu. I got soft tofu and extra firm. So I'll be eating both of these. It's soft tofu. I don't know if I'm supposed to cook. So I'm just going to eat it. It's pretty jiggly. Uh, I will now coot it open. Or peel it open, I think. Oh. Yeah. Okay, can you see me? Can you see the package? Feels pretty aqueous, so I don't want to spurt on me. Oh, yep, it's spurting. That my friend is tofu water. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep that, but I'm not because I don't want to get wet. Oh. Okay, so here we have our soft tofu. I think the softest is silken, although I don't know if soft and silken tofu are the same thing. So I'm gonna take a spoon and sample of the tofu. It is indeed soft. Tofu is quite bland on its own. And I really don't like the texture of that. I will see what happens when I try to cook it. But no, that's horrible. I would never eat that by like itself. But I will eat it with that just maybe. So I'm gonna knife. Oh no. Here we got my knife. Nice. Nice. Oh, it's falling apart. Very soft. Oh boy. I don't know if I need like oil, but Applying heat, getting it hot, getting it ready. <laughs> okay, it kind of landed, it's stuck to landing. I'm gonna cook it on all sides, see if we get a good flavor. I'm going to pour on a bit of olive oil, just to prevent sticking. the teeny spatula and wait for it to heat up. And guys, you hear that? That's the sound of sizzle. Uh, it's cooking. Try to brown this side. Smell, I mean, sounds nice. Uh, it'll take a little longer to burn it, I think. But it definitely is cooking. It looks like some butter. But it ain't butter. Okay, I'll, I'll wait for it to start, start browning. So, yeah, it's not really browning. I'm just going to take it off, see what we get. Kind of sticking a lot. Oh, yeah, see. I don't want that to happen. Is that the brown thing? Yeah, see, they're not brown, even though they're cooking a lot. Just 
to my feet, and then let's sample our tofu. It's still soft. It kind of reminds me of like flan, but the inside's really warm. I mean, the outside's warm and the inside's not. So it's like gross, uh, flavorless flan. Next, I got extra firm, aka the one that I think I like. This is a lot of food. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna hold it up with some bread. So we got extra firm tofu, firmer. Oh, it's leaking there. That's not good. Hopefully, it wasn't tampered with. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, uh, breaking news, it was open the whole time. Maybe I just opened it. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'll figure it out someday. It's like milk and a soybean cow. You know, I feel like this will just taste the same. Just, I'm just gonna cut it open. Da <laughs> da around the problem that way. It's very, oh, extra firm, I can see. Hopefully this will be better. I have high hopes for this one. Definitely not as soft. I do have a texture problem. Better, kind of curdy and chunky. I'm not gonna cook it, because I feel like it'll just cook the same way as that. But, you know, you can get the idea. This is better for me, personally. Um, now let's go to something else. Next we have Satan, or Saitan. I don't know how you pronounce that. It's like, hmm. anyway. It was developed by Mahayana Buddhist monks in China. And is made, because most people have not heard of this, made with water, gluten, soy sauce, yeast, ginger, rice bran oil, rice vinegar, and kombu. Kombu. So it is mostly gluten. So I can tell, oh, brother. It's like, okay. You know. Let's get cooking, kids. I do not think you're supposed to eat this raw. So I will not. I think you're supposed to cook it. Like some weird kind of bologna steak. Hey. 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 It smells kind of like a... Uh, French toast in a really weird way. Probably because it's made from gluten. Yeah, it smells like French toast, but like less sweet. So let's get it all headed up. And get it crazy hot. We're gonna add a bit of sesame oil. Yeah, sesame oil. That's for flavor. And a nonstick. Well, Chinese, they complement each other, I think. Although, I don't, know, I don't know if all Chinese food goes together. But, yeah, that's a weird smell. I can't smell the soy sauce. It looks like bologna, but brown. Like whole wheat bologna. Is it whole wheat? They're righteous meats.
They're good for sandwiches. So you don't have to cook it, but I am. Oh yeah. Okay, All right, because it's so thin and it's already cooked, I think it's ready to eat. It was kind of sticking earlier, so I added some spray. Hmm. I don't know what this will taste like, but I think it'll be okay. So it's that weird bready smell. I don't know how you get gluten like isolated. But if you're looking for low gluten, it's just not the way to do it. Hmm. When I eat it, I do think meat. Um, like if you're like, what is this? I'd say it's meat, but it's weird meat. Because actually it's not that bad. The fact that this is basically gluten, it's kind of weird. Um, I mean, it's better than the tofu. It has a nice seasoning in it. That's nice, so I didn't have to season it. I give it a, um, like a, well, I'd give the tofu like a three, just raw. And I'd give this like, when I cooked, it could be like a, an eight. This, I'd give it like an eight. Only non-meat scale. A10 is when it's like pure meat. So next, we have...